Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of Eight. And today I'm playing first person stealth survival exploration game, Sir. You are being hunted. In it, there are a series of five procedurally generated islands that you have to explore to find little pieces of a failed experiment while avoiding capture by robots. So, what I'm going to do is just start a new game here. Start a new game. Uh, when you start a new game, you can choose your profession, which basically changes your starting equipment. Uh, you have the default guy, you have a person who can hunt, a person with a bunch of random uh, gadgets, person with guns, person with food, person with random artist stuff, person with a lot of beer, uh, and then back to the default guy. So I'm going to pick the default guy. And you can also customize uh, which areas you want to have in your world. And then it builds it. Uh, it takes a couple minutes to uh, generate all the levels, and it also locks up the game uh, and messes up my videos. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, uh, join back in after it's ge takes about two minutes to generate the new map, uh, and then we'll pick it up from there. All right, here we are approximately two minutes later. Uh, now, it is pretty worth it uh, to have to wait for the levels to get generated because they do a pretty good job uh, doing it. So, like uh, most first-person games, it has pretty typical controls to move around. You can press C to crouch. Um, spacebar to jump, and then you press F uh, to interact with things. Uh, there is an inventory system, and you have fairly limited space, especially when you start to gather a lot of things. So I can take all of his stuff, and then you kind of drag him over to equip, uh, and then right-click to use. So there's that guy. We'll go over here and shift to run. We'll take this. I did. Return that fragment to the standing stones and leave it there. Okay. You'll be one step closer there we go. To so you can see there's this little indicator at the bottom that shows you how many more pieces are on each island. There's boats that connect each of the islands together. Uh, and then I'll save my progress real quick. Uh, and then we'll go out and search. Uh, basically what you need to do, see these little uh, kind of wispy looking things? They will lead you to other pieces. Uh, so basically your job is to follow them uh, and then kind of sneak up and, uh, you know, gather all the things here. So uh, in tall grass here, you can see the little visibility indicator in the bottom left. Uh, shows you how visible, obviously, you are to the robots, and there is a robot over there. Uh, pretty easy to, to uh, pick out by design, I would imagine, because uh, of the little laser eyes. Um, you know, if I'm right here, he won't be able to see me, so that's pretty nifty. Uh, it does mean that you have to move fairly slowly through the game world. Uh, unless you want to get caught. So I'll have to catch up with that wisp here in a bit. Just making sure there's nobody around here. Oh, there's a guy right in that town. They usually hang out in towns, which is unfortunate. Uh, each of these buildings, uh, you can't actually enter them. Uh, they basically work as giant treasure chests, uh, where you know they're basically just full of loot, which is what I'm going to do. So you press it F on them. Like there's something useful in there. Oh, and did you find There is that. Uh, you can see the little tool tips tell you whether it's useful or not. Uh, you don't really need anything that's either junk or dubious, uh, but you can use those bottles. Crap, that guy's right there. Uh, it would be better if that was easier to, you know, or faster to kind of go through. That's all crap. All right. Anybody around here? I need to get out of this town. And find those wisps again. Uh, there's another alarm clock, so that's good. All right, let's get out of here. You know, going across the open like this is usually a death sentence. Um, it doesn't take very many shots for you to die in the game. There's a fire over there. Um, so you have to be really careful. Um, even when you have weapons, uh, the uh, robots can pretty much eat you alive. Uh, with their firepower, because when once the gunshots ring out, they bring in their buddies, and they'll just outnumber you 
quite frankly, even in the beginning of the game. The game is pretty difficult overall, I would say. So here's a fire. What you can do with fires is you can cook uh, raw meat or wild game on it. Uh, if I had such a thing, you can use traps to catch rabbits and pheasants. Alright, I'm going to try to find where these... Ah, uh, wisps went. I don't see them. But I don't see any robots, so that's the trade-off, isn't it? Uh, and then that's basically the game. You know, as you progress through, the enemies get tougher. Uh, you know, and the their unpredictable behaviors, you know, basically they just patrol randomly. So it's kind of different from other stealth games where enemies follow a pattern. You know, there's no set pattern, other than you'll always see uh, two enemies uh, crowding around the little pieces that you have to collect. But other than that, you don't, you know, you can't really predict which way they're going to go, so it's a lot of kind of sneaking around slowly uh, around the map. Is there anybody around here? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. So, like I said, pretty impressive... Uh, procedural generation of these levels. Let's see if we can find these wisps again. The islands are large enough for they're basically the only way you're going to be able to find any of the pieces. <coughs> I could not jump over that, unfortunately. When it gets dark out, it's easier to hide. There's another fire. Uh, jump, jump, jump. Stone, that's good. Uh, basically, when you... Ah, oh, look at that. I don't have any matches, though, to light the fire. That's convenient right next to a fire, too. Oh, there they are. Um... I don't remember what I was going to say. I was distracted by food, like usual. Alright guys, let's go. Don't lead me towards any robots, please. You know, other than the visual clue of seeing their little red laser eyes, there's also auditory clues. You can hear the robots talking to each other. Kind of let you know where they're at. So, sneak through the woods here. See, my vitality is going down. That means I have to eat, which I will do right now. Although I have, like, nothing to eat. It's canned pie, unfortunately, is worth a lot of points. I didn't really need it. Could have used something else. Oh, there we go, right there. Unguarded. I'll take that. All right, and then I need to head back to the circle, which is where my base is. The little pentagons are the boats. You see there's a little uh, hot air balloon that searches for you too, so you have to watch out for that guy. Although he moves so slowly, it's almost impossible to get spotted by him unless you're just not paying attention. And there's my little headquarters. There we go. Two down. More of those, and we can the device. All right, there's that. Oh, there's a robot over there too. Two of them. So let's not go that way. Be very observant, sir. Startled wildlife could help you to spot your pursuers. The eyes and ears of local fauna might be sharper than your own. Follow that guy.
Yep, yeah, where'd he go? Let's check this house. Got anything for me? Nope. Crap. He saw me. Run! You can use uh, the rocks and the, the clocks and the bottles to distract them. That's really how you get at the uh, other pieces uh, that you need to collect. I think I lost them. I hear him though. You know, like I said, since there's only oh, there he is, he's over there. Since there's only checkpoint saves, uh, you know, it, you lose all your progress back to the last time you either jumped on a boat or went to the central place and returned, you know, something over there. I think I lost him. So we're gonna stay down here for a bit. And not go that way. You can see your crawl speed is agonizingly sh short. Yep, he's ignoring me now, so that's good. We're gonna jump into this. All right, let's just head north. You know, as you collect more pieces, it unlocks more enemies. Which I have to deal with. Let's see what's over here. It's a guy right there. Two. Not over here. See anybody that way? There's my wisp. All right, let's see here. Don't need to go into that town. Oh. Oh, there it is. Well, shoot. All right, I'm going to figure out what I want to do here. Should do is a alarm clock. Set it and then run around and then snatch it while they're not paying attention. Then what I'm worried about is the other two guys that are in the town seeing me. So, all right, I'm going to set this thing for f a minute. I'm going to go. You know, they'll get distracted by sound. Uh, and, of course, there's a guy right there, too. That's awesome. This is not going to end well. At all. I am going to die. But I'm going to try it anyway. Just wait, wait a minute for that uh, guy to show up. Be able to hear it. Yeah, I know. I know where it is. Wispy guy. There it goes. Yeah, go run over there. All of you. Go. Go. And then back into those woods in like an instant. Run! There's another guy like right freaking there too. Wow, I can't believe I did that. That was pretty good.
I see you, robot guy. What are you doing? I should throw my bottles, distract them. Alright, I'm gonna take that back to the central place and I'm gonna take a boat to another island. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just to show it off. I mean, basically, the whole game consists of this you know, springing little traps for the, uh, for the robots and then running in and snatching the stuff and then running back out. Uh, you can, theoretically, there's a phone box. Uh, you can theoretically... Oh, crap. Um, go in guns blazing, but it's extremely difficult to survive doing that. Because all the gunshots will call in their buddies, and then... Uh, Oh, darn it. Problem is you can't run fast enough doing this, even though I'm invisible. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, and there's his buddy. Hey, how's it going? Oh, that bottle. And I'm bleeding. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, if you're bleeding, you can go to your inventory and I use some bandages. Discretion, so that's something. Be but I'm gonna die anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you have, yeah, there it is. Perhaps you can use it to defend the mark. All right, we'll load the last save. We'll just go check another island to show you what it looks like. Uh, I mean, you're you're basically are doing the same thing over and over again every time you find a piece. So, uh, let's go south. Be very observant, sir. Startled wildlife could help you to spot your pursuers. The eyes and ears of local fauna might be shot. Hopefully there's the no north. robots over here. I'm sure there will be. Uh, there's the way to the boats. Anything in here? Hello? Oh yeah. Bunch of stuff. And an apple. Awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's get out of here. You know, when you're kind of wandering around, you don't really run into too many robots, especially in the beginning of the game. Actually, the boat's probably right there, yeah. So, we'll take this to the South Island. And away we go. There are a number of islands in the archipelago. Each of them is likely to have fragments of the device for you to collect. Not. Hello, South Island. All right, and then same sort of deal here. Find the wisps and gather your things. Yet. Check out this house. Got anything good for me? Yep.
Little birds. Alright, looking for my good friends. The wisps. Show me where to go. There we go. This must be mountains. I would assume. Let's be close if there's two, three, four of them. Oh, there you are. Mr. Robot. No, it's this way, huh? You guys are sending mixed signals. Which way is it? God, there's like three of them over there. Let's not go that way. Quite yet, anyway. Yep, there's a couple down there, too. Three of them down there. Awesome. Oh, no, it's four of them. All right. There's a fire. Whee! Anything in the barrel? Ooh, ammo. It's exciting. All right, where are you taking me, Mr. Wisp? Oh, there you are. There's only one guy. Nope, there's the other guy. All right, I think I'm going to alarm clock these guys. That's usually the most effective way of dealing with them. I almost even, I wish you could kind of set them more than a minute. Because you're basically, you always have to crawl, you know, around. Because you don't want to be, God, there's like four of them over there too. Alright, I'm just going to park myself over here. Must be decently close to it. And now we just wait. Now like I said, the guns just honestly aren't that effective uh, because it just alerts all the robots and they'll just overwhelm you overwhelm you with numbers so really the only choice is to do stealth uh, with distractions and it just you know you're doing the same thing over and over again with every encounter and there's my alarm clock yeah go run after that Thanks. Now I go this way. And you see that the fragments on the outer islands are a lot smaller, so it doesn't use up all your inventory space. Uh, but you do pretty quickly run out of space for things. So you have to kind of pick and choose what you want. You know, you never have space for everything. Yeah, and that's basically it. Uh, you know, you just basically search each of the islands, uh, follow the little wisps. There's another one. Uh, and then they'll lead you to the place and then you distract the robots and move on to the next one uh, and then progressively more uh, difficult powerful robots spawn over time uh, you know the game does have some good things the 
procedurally generated levels are really nice. Uh, there's a lot of detail and variety in them. It gives the game, uh, theoretically at least, good replay value. Uh, problem is, you know, you're playing the game the same way uh, every time. So even though the level layouts are very different, you end up doing the same thing every game. You know, I also like that you... you oh crap, they're like right freaking there. Alright, well, let me throw a bottle. I like to check out this house. You guys are right by the door, aren't you? These guys are dumb. Never mind. I'm just gonna hide back here. Um, you know, it's just the game's just too repetitive. After a while, you're doing too much of the same stuff over again. I do like the variety of items. Uh, you know, you have to keep up your vitality. Your health will automatically regrow if your vitality is above 50. Uh, so that's pretty nice. And I'll show you what happens when I uh, drink. Vision gets blurred a little bit, uh, depending on what you drink. I think that's pretty funny. Uh, so, I mean, that's basically it. You know, the, the procedural generation uh, is offset by repetitive mechanics. Uh, and that's the story of Sir You're Being Hunted. So that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.